Hey, 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 how's it going everyone? We're here with the first Bleach review, and unfortunately it's not the uh, Pond figure. That would have been so cool if we had him, but we do have the Thousand Year Blood War Ichigo Kurosaki, uh, was it? Tensa Zangetsu. Tensa Zangetsu? I don't know why, so I had to say. Tensa Zangetsu. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the how many years has it been since Bleach came out? A long time. And yeah, they graced us with the preview of a teaser for this figure back in December at Jump Festa 2023, um, which was held in 2022. Weird naming convention anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but we have them in hand now. And it's the 15th. Ichi Go 1 5. Perfect play. Perfect timing for the release for this figure. Uh, it is sporting the brand new Tamashii Quality Seal sticker. If you're unfamiliar for changes, jump on rockchella.com. I did put a post explaining the new changes for the logo from the larger one to a smaller one. Now, the box for this, I think the, I know, I think I'm more excited, more pumped for the box than the figure actually. Uh, I know mm, everyone's hyped for a bleach figure out. Not so much for this version of Ichigo, and definitely. Yeah, uh, we'll get into the pros and cons at the end of this video, uh, but the box itself is damn nice. I've got a nice profile of Ichigo there. The orange and black color, too nice, uh, showcasing what the uh, figure comes with and some badass posing of Ichigo there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's pop him out of the box and we can get a closer look at what he does come with. Okay, so we've got Ichigo standing here in the center, um, rocking the outfit from the start of the Thousand Year Blood War. Arc. Uh, not my favorite design, and that plays a bit more, a bit of my disappointment for this figure. Um, so definitely let me know in the comments below what you think about this design. Out of all the designs from Ichigo, where does it stack? Where is it ranking in that list? Uh, but anyway, for accessories, we've got the sword down the left hand side there with a metal chain, which is awesome. Uh, we've got the two hands for holding on to the katana, and we've got the kind of finger spread and a bit more of a looser grip pair as well and then the closed fists are already on them. We've got the neutral face, uh, the full on kind of almost a psychotic shouting one. I feel like it looks a little bit more extreme than what the promo photos had um, but it definitely does bring forth the emotion it seems. And we've kind of got some not really a goofy face, a bit of a surprised look um, where he's looking down to the left. And then the other two faces are very similar. Um, one is a bit more frowning one and one is a subtle kind of neutral smirk opposed to the very neutral face that's already on them. Uh, so not too much in the way of accessories. Um, pretty slim overall. Uh, and you know, kind of real basic retail release. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's pop them out of the packaging so we can actually get a closer look at that finishing for the figure. So before we look at Ichigo, I do want to kind of have a quick look at the sword itself. Base plastic, but the red and black intertwining on the hilt is fantastic. And that metal chain, very similar to the recent Jutsu Kaisen Ghetto figure. Uh, if you have that one there, you'll know exactly what this chain is like. Uh, so it's definitely an improvement over being basic. Uh, basic and plastic. Uh, the actual, uh, oh man, what is the word for it? I want to say, no, hilt? Anyway, uh, this stopper part here it is plastic and it does kind of bend so do be very careful I feel like it could be a delicate point on the figure that could break if you put pressure in the wrong direction so do be careful there but overall the sword is looking very clean and nice now Ichigo himself has the um, sort of a basic plastic matte black um, with a subtle sheen and then the white on the underside it has a subtle grey colour to the white though so it's not pure white which is nice since it does blend in a little bit better with the figure itself. Uh, it is a uh, soft plastic, not as soft as Ghetto though, as mm, it's a bit more of some of the older figures. However, it is soft enough that it will move out of the way and doesn't hinder the figure. Um, you know, when you look at the articulation, which we'll get a bit more close to look at soon, he can spread his legs very far and it doesn't get in the way at all, so that is nice. Uh, the colour separation from the inside and the outside is crisp and clean as well. Um, and then the uh, tie on the front here is definitely a bit more of a cleaner white. Uh, I'm not sure if that is a nice point or not, uh, but it does stick out a little bit more. Uh, the colour separation on the arm wraps as well is clean, same with the hands. So everything there is looking nice. 
and then the color for the hair as well the lovely orange color is coming through cleanly and then the tattoo lining on the neck is crisp and clean as well and with a nice color separation there and it seems like it is on in the uh, correct position not too far to the left or too far to the right so that is definitely nice to see the pleats in the pants um yeah for me this is going to be a con at the end but i'm not sure if they sell licorice all sorts in the us or uh, non oceania or english based uh, or england or uk based countries uh, but these pants just really remind me of a uh, licorice all sorts lolly I yeah just cannot get it out of my mind um, so it does kind of put me off at first sight um, but we've got some nice texture on the sandals underneath which is cool and again the colour you know the single toe uh, slot there for the jandals is really cool uh, so yeah overall I mean yeah the finish is nice it's just your basic retail release styling um, nothing too extreme in way of uh, weathering or anything like that but, uh, but yeah you know let's um, jump into the articulation Okay, so starting with the head, going forward is absolutely fantastic, huge range of motion, but going back it is very limited and you can't really look up too well. But the left and right swivel is nice, uh, the faceplate does come off quite easy if you push too hard, so do keep that in mind, uh, but it will slot on without any issue as well. The shoulder joint itself is very fluid and moves around nicely. It has a lovely curve on the front so you can swing his arm around quite far. And same with going back as well. So everything does feel nice and it does move well. We have the upper bicep swivel and then his um, elbow joint is really good. You can basically go all the way flat and over which is fantastic. Uh, the wrist peg is your very standard general wrist peg, so all the motion there is the same as most figure releases. But there is a subtle indentation there, so if you line up correctly, you can get a little bit further motion going around. Yeah, so there we go. Now for the upper chest, he does have a bit of a curve. It goes forward like a millimetre, not much. Definitely goes back further. Uh, but that forward motion of articulation is extremely limited, which is actually quite disappointing. Uh, but you can kind of twist to the left and right and swivel around without too much issue. The back motion is lovely though, and that is really good. Just a little bit lacking in that forward motion, which is a bit of a shame, but then in his design, the way it is, all the parts, how they interconnect, that is the limiting factor. And while we lose on the articulation forward, we do gain the nice, cool, stylistic choices that the Bleach character design offers. Now the inside here we have a motion on the hip area which is good. We have the usual leg upper thigh swivel and then as we saw earlier he can do the splits really well. Nice range of motion there. Same for going forward um, and going back. It isn't too bad um, but a little bit more limited due to the uh, design. But if you can kind of see there we do have that kind of butt flap there which will limit the backward motion. The knee joint itself though is nice. We are obviously the design of the clothing will kind of hinder the motion a little bit, but he can get further than 90 degree angle, which is nice. And the joint itself is all the same color, so it doesn't stick out too poorly. Moving down to the leg, um, the inner leg won't move on the inside. It's only at the ankle joint. Um, I'm actually quite surprised we don't have the updated ankle design for the Naruto figures. I think it would have benefited this figure a lot. But without it though, we do get a decent motion going up and down and we do get a the left and right pivot and then the other can swing all the way around. So the motion is good, um, but it would have been slightly better if we had the new Naruto angle design. Okay, so moving over to the faces, this is the base neutral one. Yeah, here's that subtle frown look with the eyes um, and then basically the straight line from the mouth overall is nice. But I am also digging the hair for this figure, uh, I think the colouring and the design of the spikes lends itself really well to Ichigo. The second face here is the full mouth open screaming one. We've got lovely lines above the nose there and the mouth is wide open. But I feel like a little bit less than a shouting look. We are getting a little bit more of a frantic kind of a uh, last measure um, psychotic scream coming through. I'm not really sure which one I would have preferred. I mean this face does look really nice. But a normal base shading one I think could have been a good addition to pair along with this face. And right, next up is that kind of paranoid looking off to the left shocked face which is pretty cool. I'm not really sure 
how I would I pair it up with some other things, but I think it could be quite good once we eventually get maybe Yudukia and a con release. I think they could be a really fun uh, Facebook to use with those characters. And now we have the subtly mouth open, upset, frowning one where he kind of disapproves. The eyes on this one is really nice though. I mean the detailing coming through is crisp and clean. Okay, and finally we have the face that is very similar to the first one, but this time instead of a subtle frown, we have a subtle smile, kind of that cocky face where he knows he's going to kick some ass. Uh, maybe my favourite of the faces, even though it's pretty simple. Uh, but yeah, definitely drop a comment below of uh, which one is your favourite faceplate for this release. So attaching the sword is quite easy. Just line up the chain, let it slot through his hand, and then you can uh, slide the hilt through the open fist and all the way down, and then he'll hold onto the sword without any issue. The sword is very light and pretty delicate, so I do recommend um, taking your time while attaching. So yeah, the uh, sword itself, you know, it lends itself really well to the figure. Uh, really nice, big and long. Uh, the detailing on the uh, hilt is crisp and clean and the metal chain is a nice touch. I mean, the blade itself just being basic and black and plastic, you know, it's not too bad. There's a subtle design line in the uh, center part, so it's not 100% plain, but it is still pretty basic. Okay, so for a little bit of a comparison, we do have the brand new Naruto figure, Jutsu Kaisen, and then obviously the full power Son Goku figure as well. So uh, four anime lineups here from SH Figure Arts. So basically when we jump into the pros and cons, there will be some comparisons for the Ichigo here, being the first one from the Bleach lineup. Now the Dragon Ball line is the staple for bread and butter for SH Figure Arts. I think if you know of SH Figure Arts, you probably already own some otherwise it may be on the camera right side but anyway if it's anime i'm sure you probably have a goku or 20. now for me i feel like the dragon ball line has it as fit that it lends itself really well to the uh figure form especially the action figure form they have those uh bulging muscles uh the proportions do change like here and there it's not as stylized uh, and then kind of naruto and jutsu kaisen i feel like a nice kind of in between uh, naruto as well various you know character designs uh this figure is pretty basic or sorry that version of naruto the Shibuya one is pretty basic in terms of design so it lends itself really well to extreme articulation um with a slender design as well as the you know the ninja aesthetic of them uh but then we have the jutsu kaisen line you know there's what a handful of figures so far and um, they just keep getting better and better maybe yeah, make me you know a bit more of a weaker side but overall Fantastic releases, uh, they you know, do the characters justice. A little bit light on the accessories for some, but you know, for most of what they do all come in with at least one accessory. Um, and yeah, you know, just a lot of fun and definitely a fan favorite. So that kind of brings us to Ichigo. I don't, I want to like him. I really do, I like Bleach, um, but this figure really does fall flat for me. Uh, yeah, articulation is pretty good. Uh, the legs, um, really nice. The arms and shoulders are really good. The center part, a little bit limited. The neck, a little bit limited. But when posing, I haven't really found it to be an issue overall. So that part is fine. I kind of like the face and the head looks nice. The sword looks cool. Uh, it's mostly the legs. I, from a, an aesthetic standpoint, I would have liked to have seen less of the pleats and a bit more of a nicer shape or design to them. Uh, maybe it is a real personal thing, how it just looks like a licorice all sort to me. Uh, so that is a really big put off from the get go. Uh, not that I don't like those lollies, but it's just, you know, it's just weird for me. Um, and this design of Ichigo, out of all the designs, the one I like the least. Give me the first appearance Ichigo. Um, with his giant, you know, basically a uh, butcher knife style one. Uh, the first Bunkai, the uh, hollow version for him. All those versions of Ichigo, badass, would love them. This one, no interest. And that's probably another big reason why it falls flat. I'm interested to see how the line will go. Byaku is looking very really good. Venge is looking cool. Uh, 
But and I think that's the issue with Bleach. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you agree as well. I think for Bleach, there's so many different characters. And I think everyone kind of likes different arcs or different versions. At least for me, I want original Ichigo, Urahara, Lukia, Kon, uh, maybe Grimjaw, Linji, and that's basically about it. You know, I, I don't really care for all the other characters. There's some that I would get who, well, they look badass, but I guess no great design. You know, I think it's going to be a personal preference. I think for me going forward, um, I probably won't be focusing on the Bleach line at all. It just hasn't really captured that essence of Bleach for me or that excitement. And I think it really does, not due to the figure being poor, it's just not the versions of a character that I like. I think that's the main point there. And I feel like this version of Ichiro doesn't really lend itself too well to figure form. But that sword is cool. Love the chain, uh, the tatterness. Uh, but you know, the black and red just looks so much more cooler. Uh, so maybe if the line survives uh, that far, I may um, keep up with it. or we'll jump in on a few figures here and there. I um, mean, that's kind of a roundabout. Um, final thoughts or pros and cons for this figure. If you love Bleach, love a final arc, yeah, it's cool, it's worthwhile, and um, definitely recommend that you support the line uh, so you keep getting future releases. Um, if this version of the figure or this design for Ichigo isn't your favourite, you're probably not really going to get much joy out of a figure. And I think with all the other releases, I'd rather put my money elsewhere. And um, the legs, I'm just not a big fan of. It's not. Okay, if I was going to give it a random number, you know, really perfect legs, 10. Most figures probably hit that 7 or 8 mark. I feel like this is probably a 4 out of 10 for the legs for me. Um, but yeah, not horrible, not a great release. I don't really have much interest in keeping up with the Bleach line going forward. That basically sums up my thoughts on the figure and maybe the Bleach line. Um, but yeah. Definitely drop a comment below, let me know what you think. Um, I think it's going to be an interesting line to see where it goes forward in the future. Uh, so yeah, I will be posting some more photos of Ichigo Pose with um, the sword and the different hands and the faces um, at the end of this video, um, hopefully. Um, otherwise I will be posting them on Instagram over the next day or two. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and until next time, cheers.